medial femoral circumflex artery. Here you can see the anatomy associated with the medial femoral circumflex artery. The external iliac artery, the femoral artery, the profunda femoris artery, the perforating arteries, the lateral femoral circumflex artery, the medial femoral circumflex artery, the ascending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery, and the transverse branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery. The descending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery, the ascending cervical arteries, the epiphyseal arteries, and the obturator. Here you can see a posterior view of the femur showing these branches. The medial femoral circumflex artery is the primary source of blood supply to the femoral head. Damage to the artery due to trauma, fractures, or surgeries may lead to a vascular necrosis of the femoral head. The medial femoral circumflex artery arises from the posterior aspect of the profunda femoris artery. The artery then winds around the medial side of the femur, passing first between the iliopsoas and pectineus muscles. The medial femoral circumflex artery then passes between the obturator externus and the adductor brevis muscles to the back of the thigh. Posteriorly, the artery can be identified in the space between the quadratus femoris and the inferior gemellus. Quadriceps femoris muscle detachment from the femur during posterior approach to the hip may cause profuse bleeding. The medial femoral circumflex artery divides into superficial, deep, and astabular branches. The branches of this artery have been named differently in textbooks of anatomy. The extracapsular portion of the deep branch is the portion of the artery most important to orthopedic surgeons as it can be damaged during the posterior approaches to the hip. The five consistent branches of the medial femoral circumflex artery are the superficial branch, which courses between the pectineus and the adductor longus, the ascending branch, which goes to the adductor brevis, adductor magnus, and the obturator externus, the estabular branch, which gives off the fovular artery, the descending branch, which courses between the quadratus femoris and the adductor magnus, and finally the deep, which runs towards the intertrochanteric crest to the head of the femur. The deep branch runs towards the introtrochanteric crest between the pectineus medially and the iliopsoas tendon laterally along the inferior border of the obturator externus. The deep branch of the artery crosses the tendon of the obturator externus. As this branch travels superiorly, it crosses anterior to the conjunct tendon of the gamulus inferior obturator internus, and gamulus superior. The artery then perforates the joint capsule at the level of the gamulus superior and distal to the tendon of the piriformis muscle. The deep branch can be damaged during division of the short external rotators and posterior approaches to the hip, interfering with perfusion of the hip. Short external rotators should be resected at least one centimeter away from their femoral attachment to avoid injury to the deep branch of the medial femoral circumflex artery. The deep branch gives a consistent branch or trochanteric branch at the upper border of the quadratus femoris going to the lateral aspect of the greater trochanter. 
This branch marks the level of the tendon of obturator externus. The intracapsular segment of the deep branch of the artery runs along the posterior superior aspect of the neck of the femur, where it then gives rise to two to four superior retinacular vessels, and occasionally inferior retinacular vessels. The deep branch shares in the cruciate and acetamosis with the lateral circumflex femoral artery. The deep branch also receives a direct supply from the inferior gluteal artery immediately before passing beneath the capsule of the hip. Precise knowledge of extracapsular anatomy of the artery and its surrounding structures will help to avoid iatrogenic vascular necrosis of the head of the femur and reconstruction surgery of the hip and fixation of vestibular fractures through the posterior approach. The obturator externus protects the deep branch of the medial femoral circumflex artery from being disrupted or stretched during dislocation of the hip. Studies have shown that an intact obturator externus alone is important in protecting the artery even if all other muscular and capsular attachments of the femoral head and neck are cut. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.